Oktoberfest is a time to celebrate one of our prized crops and the culture of the people who grow it. Unfortunately, farming in this area, like most of the country, has decreased, and that's especially true for black farmers. WGNO's LBJ shows you why. The numbers are dwindling as far as the farmers. You know, it's just a, we go from here to independence, you know, uh, with the big farms, and it's, it's, um, it's sad because we're going to lose this, you know. Arthur Thompson is this year's King of the Strawberry Festival, and he's speaking of the fewer farms and farmers that exist in the Ponchatoula region. Local historian and genealogist Antoinette Harrell says growing up, she had no appreciation for the richness of her family's legacy. I am a descendant of farmers. And I remember a lot of times growing up, people would be so ashamed to be the daughter, grandson, the son of a dirt poor farmer. But I soon learned that they was the richest people to me because they put food on the table. And while the annual Strawberry Fest is a celebration of that famed crop, the richness of farming, especially for African-American farmers and strawberry pickers has all been lost in the Florida parishes. And then punch it to them now, you, you have some strawberry farmers but they are not as large farmers as they was, and we don't have any black farmers anymore in Punchatool. Many credit practices like crop liens for families losing farms, but the changes are also generational, where family members decided to cease farming the land. One black farmer who continues just outside of Ponchatoula is Warner Hall, who farms vegetables for market, but has planted strawberries under a special order this year. I planted them because my granddaughter wanted some strawberries and she's in the city and I'm out here. The legacy of black farmers and pickers is rarely spoken of, but going forward, Harrell hopes to get the message out. We haven't done enough to tell our story. Uh, one of my things is I hope that next year we can have an exhibit of the strawberry pickers at the museum so that when the visitors come in town, they can go to the museum and see who was these people. For WGNO News, I'm LBJ.